Yo, 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 it's your boy Swag and I'm back and today we'll be talking about Lil Durk's new song that just released, Smirk Carter. On uh, this song, concept comes from Lil Wayne, so in the title you already see it says Smirk Carter. You know, the thing of this video was based off Wayne's old video, Hustler Music, so he got the whole Baby Nate drip on, so I don't know, I guess Baby Nate finna make a comeback because he got the new style drip on, so we gonna see if everybody gonna be walking around with the Baby Nate, but we gonna jump right into these lyrics. The first thing that surprised me about these lyrics was him talking about O-Block. Like, he said a lot of surprising things in this song. Y'all know how Dirk do. He gonna tell his life story, so he said, I got guys that's locked up for murder and money. So who is these guys? Who is he talking about? Is he talking about other guys? Or is he talking about O Block? Because we already know that LBG Duck Case has started. And they have said that Duck had money on his head, 100K. So who is he talking about, Swag? Me, I think he talking about O Block. You know what I'm saying? And he kept it going like Dirk really got into like his life in this. He even talked about his brother, Death. And he said that his brother was known to keep a gun, but on this particular day of his death, he didn't have a gun. And why he didn't have a gun, Swag, Dirk said he played with his life. In the song, he said, my brother known to keep a gun, but he played with his life, and he was mad at that, you know? And then he repeatedly followed up with that, that the killers played with their life. So he's insinuating that the killers are dead. That's right. Dirk said the killers pay with their life. So, it's this man, you got to go check this out. This is a very, very interesting song in the day of time of what's going on in the drill culture with the murder of LBG Duck and him trying to stay out this Rico case because they steadily mention his name. You know what I'm saying? And by them mentioning his name, he also said that, well, I think that he was a sitting way that his brother was going to get charged with the death of LBG Duck because he said he beat a, his charge would have been rocketeering. You know what I'm saying? Because TZ supposed to call his brother. And we don't know if his if Dirk brother made that phone call to O Block, but TZ did call Dirk brother phone. So he was insinuating that he might be locked up with it. And Dirk continues to go on, tell his story. He even mentions his baby mama. He said, I remember rent was due. And then he left his baby mama just like, damn. Rent was doing you left your baby mama. I know the I know you signed a contract. It was a lot going on, but he said he left his baby mama and she paid for it. Like he went he went super saiyan on his baby mama. Like he didn't spare nobody. He said his baby mama is paying for it. I'm pretty sure that she probably getting a little cash now, but she ain't with the um the voice of the streets, so she messed up on that. She's not with the voice of the streets. Damn dirt. You you a real monster for that, man. And um, he also mentioned running the game for 10 years. Y'all y'all think Dirk been running the game for 10 years? Dirk ain't never been, like, my favorite rapper, you know what I'm saying? But I check out his songs. So him running the game, I don't think so. Him being in the game for 10 years and being consistent, yeah. Y'all let me know, is Dirk running this shit for the last 10 years to you? Like, we gonna need some answers on this because Dirk can't just be saying this and then can't nobody say nothing. So I'm gonna need y'all to get in the comments and we gonna figure out, like, is Dirk really been running the game for the last 10 years, y'all? What y'all think? We need to find this out. And Dirk also hit the fans with something that a lot of people don't know, but I'm gonna hit y'all with a fun fact, a fun fact, and you could Google this. So back in the days when prostitution was a big thing, it was a prostitute who put eyelashes on her ass. She was the first person to put eyelashes on her ass and it became a thing. And the reason why she put the eyelashes on her ass was to protect her ass from men's semen. And Dirk said he ain't sparing nobody. I know she married already because I messed up her eyelashes. So we already know where he's going with that. But that was just a fun fact that Eyelashes came from prostitution, and these girls out here is wearing them like, like that's how they supposed to be walking around looking like prostitutes. But if you know, you know. If you don't, now you know. So if you're a female and you got eyelashes, just know that people that have knowledge of the world outside of just putting it on for fashion, that you're insinuating that you're a prostitute. For a fact, and he also hit the mm mm mm. You know what I'm saying? He hit the Scarlet uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in the ad lib. You know what I'm saying? Scarlet 
Um, she a New York artist. She been going crazy, you know. So her impact on the game is showing, you know. Dirk hit, hit, hit the mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the ad lib. Um, that's about as much of the song that surprised me as far as the lyrics. Just breaking it down. Um, make sure you go check out that song. I'm going to leave it in the description. Make sure you go check out my playlist. I got drill time stories. I got exclusive old block videos. And I'm doing my social media content. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you check out the boy playlist. And I also got videos traveling around Chicago just showing what it was. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the time of like, they they, put, they had put out all the people in the um, mental institute, had them on the streets. So I was traveling around just showing y'all how Chicago is. You know, make sure you go check out it. Like, subscribe. It's your boy Sweat. And I'm out.